how we solve these problems. So the first problem, what we noticed is we had a pattern here and the pattern, what we tried to do is we tried to represent these numbers at the bottom and the numbers of blocks as if we were doing a mathematical function like you did in high school math. And so how that would work is we'd say, okay, so the numbers at the bottom are like the X and the numbers of the blocks are like the Y. And what we notice is that there is a relationship to, between the X and the Y. As the X increases, the Y increases. So when X is one, Y is three, one, two, three. When, when X is two, Y is five, one, two, three, four, five. When X is three, Y, three, y is seven. So we got this pattern of three, five, seven. You can see it's increasing by two for every time we go up one. So that relationship could be captured with two X. Every time we go up by one X, we go up by two Y's. So two, so Y is equal to two X. And then there's one more that we add to it. So Y is equal to two X plus one. So if X is four, two X plus one is gonna be two times four plus one is nine. And that's the pattern, three, five, seven, nine. This would be 11. Is that two X plus one? Yes, it is. Uh, two times five plus one is 11. And for 10, two X, is uh, 20 plus one is 21. And then that we can add that to these other ones. The 20th pattern would be two times 20 is 40 plus one is 41. And two times 100 is 200 plus one is 201. For, the, for N, we just say uh, what we replace X with N, right? So we'd say uh, two N plus one is equal to Y or whatever. So that's that one. We did that one, okay. The one with the uh, peanuts, and again, just re re revising the, and I'll go through it quickly. Uh, what we notice is that there seems to be a relationship between cashews and all the other nuts. So for example, if we know how many cashews we've got, uh, the number of brazil nuts would be twice as many. And likewise, uh, the number of peanuts would be twice as many brazil nuts. And we decided that that was four times as many um, as there were cashews, because brazil nuts are twice as many as cashews, peanuts are twice as many as brazil nuts, so peanuts must be two times two times, which is four times as many as um, cashews. The number of almonds is the same as the number of brazil nuts, and so since brazil nuts is two cashews, so almonds is also two cashews. And so if we if we try and relate that to cashews, what we find is um, and I'm not writing this on the board because I'm doing it for the video, right? I mean, I don't know how I'd write that here. Um, but basically we have, uh, if we write down all of the different kinds of nuts. So almonds are 2C. So A is equal to 2C. Uh, B is equal to 2C, B being brazil nuts. Uh, P is equal to 4C. Uh, so we got A, B. So that's our thing. So we add those together plus 1C and we get 9C. 9C is equal to 81. So 81 divided by nine is nine. So there is um, nine cashew nuts. And then we can just take that and substitute back in. If we got nine cashew nuts, we must have twice as many brazil nuts. So that's gonna be 18. And we must have four times as many peanuts. So that's gonna be 36. And we must have twice as many almonds. So that's gonna be 18. We add all those together plus the nine. And yeah, it does that up to 80, 81. So we solved that one. Uh, with the fun with logic, uh, the tricky bits there was nobody could have the same, same favorite as their first name for the first name of their favorite. So Ahmed couldn't be favored in art. Uh, Butter couldn't be favored in um, biology. Miriam couldn't be favorite in math and Fatma couldn't be favorite in PE and Sammy couldn't be favorite in social studies. Uh, so, Butter also couldn't be favorite of social studies because he had to sit with that person. And Fatma and Sammy couldn't be favorite of biology. And Miriam must be favorite of PE. And then the other thing we notice is that Fatma couldn't, uh, sorry, Sammy couldn't draw a straight line with a ruler. So that rules him out from math, but it doesn't rule him out from art. And anyways, when we went through all of those, what we found by process of elimination is Sammy had to be art. Um, uh, butter, uh, can you remember students? Uh, Fatma, Marion was PE. Um, who was social studies? Who? 
Fatma was social studies. And who was what? Oh, I got them back here, don't I? All right, so Ahmed was biology, Butter was math, Miriam was PE, Fatma was, was social studies, and Sammy ended up being art by process of elimination. The, the marbles we did with um, uh, a binary search, that's something that you need to learn from computing anyways. But basically what you do is you divide the population in half and then test them against each other. If you've got eight marbles, you can divide those into two, two populations of four. One is gonna be lighter than the other because it, it holds one lighter marble. When you divide those, then you got two sets of two. One of those is gonna be lighter. And so you separate out the lighter one and then you divide that and by three searches, you can get the right one. We didn't do number tricks. We went straight to tri triangular sums. So we can come back and do the number tricks. So with the triangular sums, we ended up putting all the even numbers in the corners and then put the, the, the uh, odd numbers in to, to make the, the value. And then we, did, then we swapped it around and put all the, all the odd numbers in the corners and put the even numbers in to plot the value. So now let's look, work on these numbers that I missed. We only can use the numbers three, four, six, and eight. And we have to come up with values of, um, and so uh, this is the last thing we'll do. The video is going to slow down for a bit because it's going to take us some time to do this. Maybe I'll just going to pause the video. Um, so instead of stopping recording, I think I can do a pause while we search this out and then I'll. So just to get the last ones there, what we found was we could take eight divided by four. That would give us two. We could add that to six divided by three, that would give us two. Two plus two is four, that gives us number four. Uh, we could get the number 10 by doing three times four, that's 12. We could add six to that, that would get um, uh, minus six. Uh, three to 12 plus six is 18, then minus 10. Uh, sorry, minus eight, that would give us 10. So that's our 10 number. To get the 14 number, we did three times six to give us 18, minus eight is 10 and then add four to that to get 18. And I think that's it. Yeah, we've covered everything there. So I stopped talking on that. All right, so 